Hello everyone, the Internet Pedant here, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Fallout 4, but this is going to be a bit of an instructional video, this is not a Let's Play. Um, if you haven't played the game or you're not playing it yet and you're worried about spoilers, you might not want to watch this. This is more about the mechanics than than anything plot-wise. Uh, there's one major mechanic in the game, and honestly, if you're worried about spoilers about mechanics, stop watching now, but there's one major new mechanic in the game which isn't necessarily explained all that well, and that's the settlement system. Uh, basically, you can uh, gain different settlements and you can build them up and do what you want, but um, there's a few little interface things. It's not necessarily explained all that well, but let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, I've just got this settle, uh, settlement. Generally speaking, you get settlements by um, doing little quests for the people who work there. I've got, see, I've just, I've got six at the moment. Um, and what you're going to be looking for, the mark that somewhere can be a settlement, is one of these here, a workshop. Uh, before you've fully got on with the people there, you just won't be able to access it. But once you've done the mission and they've gone, oh yeah, it's fine, uh, you'll get this. Um, now, to build things, you can just go up here and press E and then it brings up this menu, or um, I will be using PC controls, obviously it will be different on Xbox or PS3, or as it says there, you can just hold V to do the same thing. You have to hold it for quite a while though, it's a bit odd. Um, up, down, left, right on the D-pad, uh, sorry, on the arrow keys are to select different structures, um, and when you select a structure, it's like... Uh, it will show you um, the resources you need to build it. You can look around to choose where to place it. Red means you can't place it there. Green means you can. Uh, you can roll the mouse wheel to move things further away or closer. Sometimes it's a bit weird. Um, and at the top of the screen, you'll notice it says like what resources are already here. And from that, you can figure out what you need. This place has got a lot of food, but not much water. Hmm. What can we do about that? Well. As I said, to build anything, you need resources. Um, and this is good because it means that now there's a use for all that random stuff you pick up. Uh, what do I mean? Well, if we quickly look over here, there won't be too much in the workshop. Pressing R to transfer, that's how you look at the inventory of things here. Um, you can see there's, you know, there's a few bits and bobs in here. Uh, not too much. You can sort by different stuff, but whatever. We want junk. Um, and when you select one, uh, let me see. Uh, like if I say to inspect, uh, it tells me what that actually gives me. So an antique globe is worth two cork, two plastic, and two a screw, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, I've got a few bits of junk. You can just press T to store all your junk in there. So that will just go there. That's junk is now always used that, and that's great because it means you don't you're not carrying it around for money. You just store it in there, and it's it's gone. Although that's still not great because that's all my stuff here, but. I mean, I've already got lots and lots and lots of junk elsewhere. I mean, now now that I've taken over all that stuff that before I'd get told off for stealing, now I can just take and then I can talk, store in there and it's all going to be great. But it's it's very much a, like, once you've tidied this place up and, and done a few things, uh, you know, put a few bits, well, bits of junk in, you're still limiting yourself. Um, there is a way around that. There is a way around that, but I will show you that later. Another thing you can do in uh, this mode is you can find certain items that are just lying around that are just a bit useless, and you can scrap them to also get resources. So, for example, here we've got this cinder block. Uh, I mean, we, I guess we could leave it there. Maybe we think it suits the ambience of this location, but let's assume not. So, you have to do is look at it so that it turns yellow. Hit R to go to scrap, and it will tell you what you'll get for it and then hit enter to actually scrap. That's another way of getting resources. So that's pretty good. I've set up a little mouse shortcut so it just automatically hits R and then enter. So at the press of a button, I can go, yeah, I don't want this weed whacker, don't want this wood, don't want this barrel. Fine, no problem. Um, so let's actually, I put that away, I don't know why. Let's, uh, let's build some stuff. So we've got some water here. We could probably do with more. So over here is resources, resources is useful. Uh, water, food, and miscellaneous. Um, miscellaneous, the main one that you should always build is a scavenging station, just because it gets you a little more scavenging production. Uh, but apart from that, there's a few little bits that let you, like, do things. Uh, let's let's build one of these, actually. Let's just put it here. Um, by the way, you'll notice, uh, and then you just hit E to put it down. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that while I'm doing all this, you probably can't see it very well because this has got quite a lot of space. But there's this green barrier. That's how far you can build. That's basically what this settlement owns. So if you try and go further than that, sorry, you're out of luck. 
Um, one thing that's a bit of a shame uh, is this doesn't quite reach down to the river because one of the things you can build, uh, and I was hoping to show you, I'll have to find something else to show you, is uh, you can build um, water purifiers. And what you do is you put these in water and they purify it and get your water that way. Uh, for the moment we're just going to build a couple of water pumps so let's find a good place to put it. I suppose we'll put one near this tree. Yeah, there. That's fine. We'll try and get to nine water I suppose. Yeah, that can be hidden there. That's fine. Um, the reason I wanted to show you the water pump is because the the first one you just put it and it produces three water and that's fine. The second one requires power. In fact a lot of things require power. Um, and that's a system that can trip you up a bit. Uh, and to demonstrate that, let's build something else that requires power. Uh, here, let me see, is it under crafting? No, 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 it's under uh, resources again. No, it's not. What am I talking about? Power. All things under power. Miscellaneous. And this is a good one to build. This is the recruitment radio beacon. Ah, but I don't have what I need. See, this is the problem. Not enough resources. I need crystals. I need copper. I need ceramics. I just haven't got what I need. But that is fine. That is something we can work around. Uh, another thing you can do while in the workshop mode, let's bring it back up. I don't know why I closed it again, but here we are. Uh, you can issue orders to different people. Um, let's grab that. Um, this particular settlement, uh, we've got we've got a few Mr. Handys going around, which hopefully I'm going to be able to give an order to. So if you look at this, see, I, I can tell him, give him a command. So I can press E to give him a command and then point him something and he'll look after that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Q to set up a supply line and then I can choose a place that he's going to be linked to. Um, these are all places that I've previously um, dealt with so let's let's pick the Abernathy farm. I think that's maybe the closest. Uh, assign supply line to Abernathy farm. Enter to confirm. Enter. Right so now what's happened if I look at the map for a second um, let's see. So here's all the Here's what I've found so far. I won't look at too many things, but if I hit C to show supply lines, all my settlements are connected. Those are all my settlements. And what that means now is if I go back to the um, construction thing, which is up here, let me show you. And this time I go to transfer and we look at what's there. What we'll see is it's got loads of stuff. It's got crazy. Actually, no, wait, that. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, it won't show up in there, but. So apologies, uh, step back. You still only see what's in that particular one, but when you actually go to build something, like say that radio tower, look at all those resources. Tons of things. Because any that, that are linked by supply lines, you share the resources. Um, and obviously they can link with the other ones that you've shared with. So basically this is now everything I've got. So uh, let's put a radio beacon down. This is used to attract more p uh, people to the settlement. Normally I wouldn't build this quite yet, but we'll go for it. So that can go there. Um, okay, but that's not working yet because it needs power. That's why it shows up in red. So let's build a generator. You can build a small, medium, or a large. It's funny how these things work, isn't it? Let's uh, let's build a medium generator. Where are we going to put that? I know. Let's put it. Let's put it round the back of this building. You know. Put it here, that's fine, just by there. That's great, isn't it? That's a perfect place for this. Okay, so that's done. So now the radio beacon's working right. I mean, that's, I've got power, I've got it, it's fine. Yeah, 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 no. No, because this isn't just, it's power's not just magic, it doesn't get transferred through the air, you have to connect wires. Um, so you look at one thing, you want to connect to wire to and press space. And then you get this wire, you can, we'll attach that to, oh, why is it turning red? Why is it turning red? Oh no. Oh no, that doesn't work because it passes through the building. And even then, if I put it around here, it passes through the ground. That's no good. That generator needs to be a lot closer. Um, don't worry. Don't worry if you place things in the wrong place because you can move them quite easily. Uh, there's two ways. You can look at it and just hit E to select and then you can just pick it up and dump it somewhere else. So, oh, by the way, you can also use the left and right, right mouse buttons to rotate an item. So we could do that if we wanted. Another way you can do it is to look at it and press tab to store and say, say yes. And then when you go to build one, it will just build it kind of for free, I think, I hope, I pray. Um, so let's let's build that there. Maybe we'll look back at the video and see if my resources uh, disagree, but whatever. So there we go. So now that's built. So we can press space to do a wire, connect it to that. 
And there we go. Now this this is uh, activated and it is getting some people in, which is good. That's good. It's what we want. Um, what else do we want? We've got plenty. We've got food. We've got water, but we haven't got defense and we haven't got beds. Basically, in most settlements, you're going to need one bed for every person that you want uh, in there, which is in furniture. So furniture, beds, and then you just plonk it down. You just plonk it down anyway. No. No, you don't. I'm lying to you. That's a terrible idea because, you know, it's it's a harsh environment out here. There's rain, there's radiation storms, there's all kinds of bad stuff. You can't just put stuff willy-nilly. No, 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 no. They need a building to, lie, uh, to live in. So, let's find... Uh, this place is a bit difficult to build around, actually, but we might be able to fit a nice little hut here. So, let's uh, use a prefab one. You can... You know, do your own thing, but I just, I just go prefab. Uh, let's rotate that to something resembling a sensible. Ooh, we nearly, nearly got it placed. Ah, oh, this, this environment's terrible. This is not a good place to build on. Can we build a bit further back here, maybe? Build sideways? Do something like that? No, no. Okay, just for this demo, let's forget that. Let's, let's build a smaller shack. We're just demonstrating here. Okay, that can go there. So we've built that shack and now we can, which I've, I've built the wrong way, it's got the entrance on the back here, but never mind, I'll deal with that another time. Uh, this is just a demo, so, uh, and then we'll put some beds in it. Uh, so we'll put one there, and one there, and one over here. Okay, that's good, and we, we actually need more, we need at least, you know, generally as many people uh, more beds and number of people so that new people who turn up have got somewhere to sleep, but we'll ignore that for now. We'll ignore that. Defences, that's another thing you need. Uh, if you go over to defence, you can build guard posts, turrets and traps. Um, guard posts, they're pretty good. They're just little um, places you can put so that people can stand on them. And they're also pretty useful just for giving you a bit more vision. Like if I want to put something there so I'm going to be able to see over this building you know, maybe, or, or get up to the building. That could be alright, it's probably not the best. Um, but I, I prefer to just put a lot of turrets myself. Uh, you need circuitry and gears and things like that, but they, they do a good job. Uh, and they're thematically appropriate for this particular base. Um, so, can I put one on the roof? That would be, be handy. No, I can't because it's a glass roof. Oh well, but I can put one, I reckon, on here. Yep, so we'll put one on there, put that there. We'll put one on this building. Remember, you can use the mouse wheel to put it further away, so that can go kind of there. That's probably not a great place, but never mind. Let's put one on this side, kind of looking out this way. Uh, and you'll notice each one of these has given me five defense. Five defense. Uh, you generally, the hint is you want to have um, about as much defense, or maybe a bit more, than your water and power combined. So I want 15, but I'm going to build a bit more. I want room to room to grow, so we'll put one there as well, and uh, I'd like one in this corner. See, I really want one on the roof, but that's not happening. So, I guess I'll put one just here. That'll be fine. So, there we go. So now, this base, it has food, it has water, it has places for people to sleep, it has a powered transmitter, um, it's got everything you need and everyone's getting pretty happy and that's good. Um, yeah, well, one thing I didn't mention, by the way, because I was saying about supply lines. Um, and as, as I've shown, d supply lines are really useful because it means you could just dump things in any of these and pick it up anywhere else, which is fantastic. But, 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 you can't use supply lines at the start of the game until you've got a particular perk. So if we look at the perk chart and down here on the charisma track we have local leader and you need to put one point in that to be able to set up supply lines i definitely recommend at least going for that if you've got any interest in the uh, settlement mechanic at all because it's so useful to have those supply lines you just never have to worry about ferrying um stuff to and fro you can just drop it anywhere and build anywhere which is so convenient Anyway, yep, that's it. That is settlements in a nutshell. Obviously, there's there's loads more in there, but that that sort of teaches you how to do everything everything you need to do. Oh, here's a here's a new settler. Did you have anything you oh, that's great. You you uh, you yeah. You just you, you just keep going. Anything? Not right now. See, they're well, they're fine. They're happy because we've done a good job of building the settlement. Even people who've just turned up have got everything they need. 
Anyway, there you go. Um, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.